Welcome back to the John Mandola Show here on WILK. Well, high school football getting down to the home stretch here. One more week to go. It was a big game last night. Southern Columbia and Dunmore Bucks. Jim Roth, the head coach of Southern Columbia, gracious enough to join us again today. And uh, Jim, uh, congratulations. Uh, a big win for you guys against a very good Dunmore team last night. Yeah, thanks, John. It was, uh, you know, it was a big game, and coming in, uh, you know, both teams were having outstanding seasons, a lot of tradition in the programs, huge crowd at Danville High School, so it was a great experience uh, for our kids to, to participate in that that kind of atmosphere and to come away with a win, uh, another opportunity to go to Hershey. Uh, it's just, um, you know, it's, it's a big uh, win for the program. You're one of the best coaches in uh, the state of Pennsylvania ever. Um, you went against one of those guys last night in, in Jack Kenses. How about the conversation before the game and, and just talking to a guy like uh, Jack Kenses? Yeah, I've known Jack for a while. Um, and uh, just uh, talking before the game about you know some of the things in the past. And, uh, of course, I asked him uh, what his plans were, how much longer he was going to uh, you know, stay with it, and uh, he he said he did he didn't really have any uh, future plans. Uh, just basically going one year at a time, and I get asked the same question uh, occasionally, and and that's pretty much my response. Uh, obviously, he has a few years on me, but uh, I've been retired from full time in the school, full time teaching for three years now. So, um, you know, uh, and he's actually still full time in the school at his age. So. Uh, you know, I commend him just on the longevity and and the amount of effort he's put into the uh, the program, and, and like I said, staying as as a full time educator. That's amazing at his age. You mentioned the crowd, uh, big buzz, great game. Uh, Coach Franklin from Penn State there, uh, checking out the talent as well. Um, boy, you guys, your execution is just uh, fantastic. You've had a lot of great teams at Southern Columbia, and we could go up and down that list. But uh, again, this year. Um, you got guys doing big things, and, and some of those younger guys really really could run the football, catch the football, throw the you got a little bit of everything. Yeah, we have pretty good balance. Uh, this is not one of our more balanced teams in the backfield in terms of uh, the, the group of backs. We normally uh, utilize three running back backs, and we still do, but Gage Garcia is head and shoulders our, our top guy right now. And, of course, defenses know that, but... Um, the thing that helps us is having uh, Stone Hollenbach at quarterback, Julian Fleming at wide receiver. Um, you know, they're such a uh, dynamic uh, pair as far as throwing the ball and making big plays. So even though we don't have the same kind of balance within the running game, our offensive balance is still there. And we, and we, we certainly have our other backs are contributing, and we have some other receivers contributing. But you know, those three players in particular, just like last night, things were close in the first half. And, of course, Dunmore jumped out early and got up on us. But, you know, they, they've just been very, very consistent throughout uh, uh, the two years that they've been on, playing on the varsity level as far as just making big plays uh, week in and week out. And, and that was a difference uh, to a, a large extent last night again. Well, you get to find out your opponent uh, coming up for, for next weekend. And uh, let's talk a little bit about what, to, what you know about the, the upcoming opponent, Coach. Well, it's Wilmington High School out of District 10 who won what you would consider a shootout by score. Um, both teams in the 40s, I think, had finished up uh, over Washington out of District 7. And um, Wilmington, uh, scheme-wise, and I haven't seen them on film yet, but from what I've heard, uh, we'll be familiar with what they're doing on offense because they're a wing T team. So, uh, you know, we, we, we're still considered a wing T team, although, uh, we do a lot more than basic wing T plays now. So we're not as much wing T as we once were, but that's their offensive scheme. Uh, the only other information I have on, on them at this point is that they do have two running backs that have gone over a thousand yards, so they do have some balance in the backfield. And um, you know, looking at their scores, they they've had an impressive season, and it you know appears that uh, they've they've played real solid on defense also. So um, you know, we'll, we'll probably have uh, uh, film on them and exchange that will occur by midday today, and then we'll just start taking a look. Uh, at more specifics, uh, you know, as far as uh, what we have to prepare for. 
And, Jim, uh, your guys just a resilient. Dunmore goes up on you guys. You come back. Another score by them. But uh, uh, you guys look like you're always looking forward, whether it's the coaching staff or the kids. And, and those points just seem to kind of add up on the scoreboard. A credit, obviously, to, to the program you've built there at Southern Columbia. Well, thank you. Yeah, um, the, the big thing this year – uh, compared to last year, and obviously losing one game is is, <laughs> is still a, a great season. But our defense has been stronger, and and even last night, you know, we had a turnover deep, and they converted and scored, and then they they scored again on us um, in the first quarter. But at that point, our defense really just started to play like they've played all year, and um, you know, they did an outstanding job against their running game, run and pass actually, but. You know, it all, it all starts with the run in most high school football games, and if you can control the opponent's running game and make them more predictable when they throw the ball, that's that's just, um, you know, a huge uh, advantage if you can do that. And, and, again, our defensive front and our defense overall was, was able to do that again last night. So, you know, we have some guys offensively that have gotten a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of press and, and a lot of credit, and deservedly so. But but really, the line play in our, in our defensive group um, has been a huge key this year. And if we're able to win one more, they certainly will or should get a lot of the credit for uh, the season. Jim, congratulations on the win. We're rooting for you here uh, next week uh, to represent, uh, as Coach Hens has said, uh, represent Eastern Pennsylvania. And, uh, continued success, Jim. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me on. Okay. Jim Roth, the head football coach at Southern Columbia. Uh, doing it uh, pretty darn good over the years, as you're sure. One of the best ever in the state of Pennsylvania. He continues to win. It's 10-19 here at WILK. When we come back, Lackawanna College Baseball in studio. We'll get with our head coach, Bruce Thompson, to talk about a couple of guys going to that next level. We'll take a time out. Let's head out now to our local State Farm Insurance agent, Michael Griffin. Break like a good neighbor. Michael Griffin is there. We'll be back here at WILK.